Hey guys, so we are about to leave to go to a pet store for hamster shopping. We're definitely going to get the supplies, but if they don't have any hamsters that I like, we're just going to get um, the supplies and get the hamster at PetSmart a different day and not today. But if they have one that I like, I'm going to get it. So I'm going to be using a bin cage and I don't know how I'm going to use this one or this one yet. So this is his temporary cage. If I did not already mention, I am getting an 110 quart cage instead of this small 66 quart cage. I just did not have it yet and we were in a rush home because we weren't sure if I was getting a hamster or not. And since I did, we just had to kind of solve and put him in a small cage. So I'm going to try one hand opening this box. Um... As you can see, he's nibbled a little bit, but hopefully it'll be easy to take him out. So, I heard the best way is to let him crawl out on his own because he's probably super nervous and he might snap or nibble a bit. So, I'm just going to lean the box down and hopefully he crawls out right away. And looks like so far he's crawling out and he's out. So, he was pretty easy to actually get out. And again, this is a temporary cage, guys. I am not keeping him in this cage. You needed a 104 quart bin cage. I am buying a 110 quart bin cage by the time this video is up. I have already bought it and he's already happily living in it. Looking at it now, I realize he does need a bigger wheel. So I will be returning this, getting him a bigger wheel maybe in a week or two. Because these wheels can cause back problems. And these silent wheels advertise this as a Syrian hamster wheel. Obviously, you can kind of see the bend of his back going with the wheel. So I will definitely be upgrading to an 8 inch wheel soon enough. So here's an overview of his temporary cage with his wheel again. You can see this is not very big and the bin I'm getting is definitely longer and wider. And I'm also buying a water bottle holder soon enough so I will not have to hold it up with duct tape. And obviously you can just look at it and see how small of a cage this is. Even critter trails are smaller than this so please don't buy critter, tra critter trails. But yes, I'm getting a bigger cage guys, I promise. So here he goes, he loves his wheel so much, but again, I'm definitely getting him a bigger wheel, and so far I've had him for two weeks by the time this video is uploaded, and he does not go in his house, so if you guys have any like ideas how to get them to go in their house, or any ideas on if I should buy a new one, um, when he is in it, he's gone in there a few times, it's the perfect size, I just cannot get him to go inside it and sleep, he sleeps in the corner. So here are just some more clips of him in his cage, and even looking on it now, I do have the 110 quart cage as I'm voiceovering this. Um, I'm taking that out to show you guys, but I'm doing a voiceover over this clip, obviously, and um, he loves his bigger cage so much. Even with his bigger cage, he does not go in his little castle, so if you guys know what to do, again, please let me know in the comments below and at this time I have gotten him more chews and toys and definitely the bigger cage and so a new hamster video will be coming out next week of all the supplies and everything I've bought him and I've gotten him a water bottle holder I've gotten him so many things to make his life better I guess I got most of the necessities right now and as you can see he's really jumpy when I try and touch him so I don't think picking him up yet is a good idea but if you guys have any things I should get off like Amazon or anything like that make sure to comment that down below I have chews, treats, beddings, the house, the wheel I'm getting a bigger wheel I just don't have it yet but I'm getting a bunch of more stuff but thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later bye